Today's episode of the DC Metro Food Dude Show is brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Have you tried their pan pizza yet? If not, go get one today. Affordable Door, DC Metro's number one garage door installation and repair company. When I'm not at Cali Dream and Tanning helping customers and cleaning beds or training with my team at Freedom MMA getting beat up, I'm on the streets of the DC Metro on the hunt for the best foods in the DC area. Welcome to the DC Metro Food Dude Show. On today's episode of the DC Metro Food Dude Show, we're headed to the broiler in Arlington, Virginia for cheese steaks and square pizza. Cheese steak is beyond. Once you eat it, it's like, it melts your mouth. Most people think you have to go to Philadelphia to get a good Philly cheesesteak, but today I'm on the corner of South Monroe and Columbia Pike in Arlington, Virginia. Welcome to the broiler. Alright, I'm here with Ahmad, who's a cheesesteak specialist here at the broiler in Arlington. Ahmad, thanks for having us in. Thank you for coming. Okay, um, first of all, we all know the secret to a good cheesesteak is the bread and the meat. Tell me a little bit about the bread. Do you guys give it, get it uh, delivered every day? We get, it, uh, we get it delivered every day fresh from Carter's company. Okay. And from there we just cut them up, put them on the grill. Okay, do your thing. Let's see it uh, All right, see it so happen. all I'll do is just cut it, open it up, something special, and put it on the grill right here. And put on steak. Now, what kind of steak do you guys use? Uh, we use USA Foods steak. Rib ribeye steak. Yeah. Okay, ribeye steak. Yes, sir. Put the basil All right. I guess I was supposed to put the onions first. The oil. From there, let it cook a little bit. Start chopping it up. Most people don't know about the broiler is that they have awesome pizza. Everyone's so stuck on the cheesesteaks here. The pizza is made fresh every day. They make the dough, the sauce, and the best thing about it too, it's a perfect square with really crispy crust. So make sure you try the pizza too at the broiler. All right, I'm here with Marty. Marty, I hear you've been coming here a long time. How long you been coming to the broiler? Uh, about 40 years. Okay, what's your favorite item here? I usually get the um, chicken, um, sub, the chicken sub. I get the steak and cheese sometime, but I like the chicken sub and the pizza. All right, nice, nice. I'm here with Steve Williams. He's another cheesesteak fiend here at the broiler. Steve, how long have you been coming here? I've been coming out here for about 20 years, though. What do you think the secret to the broiler is? Why is it so good here? Actually, the food. The food is the best, and I've played cheesesteak and beyond. Once you eat it, it's like it melts in your mouth. I agree. I'm with Don. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. I heard you're a pizza man. Yes, sir. Why is the pizza so good here at the broiler? That's good pizza. Sausage and pepperoni is real good. Is that what you get every time you're here? Yes, sir. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, too. Does your restaurant have great food? On our way to D.C. today for some amazing sandwiches. This place does nothing but hand-carved goodness. Today we're carving up roast beef, we're carving brisket, we're carving turkey, and all other kinds of meats. Today we're at the MGM Roast Beef. Nestled in the Brentwood District of Northeast DC is a place that carves roast beef, turkey, ham, and pretty much any other kind of meat you can think of. Welcome to MGM Roast Beef. All right, I'm back here in the kitchen with Jake. He's gonna show me how they prepare the, what is it, the London broil? It's the top round. Oh, the top round. Yep. Okay, and this is your number one sandwich? This is one of the number one sandwiches. You start by trimming off all this fat. But when you have too much of this fat, 
it gets kind of gross. Not good. Yeah, you yeah. have all that gristle. We like to keep this top piece that I'm taking off right now. And what we do is we make a beef jerky out of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we go heavy on the salt, very heavy on the salt, and then you work it in there. So it'll help keep that barrier once it cooks and keep all those juices in. So heavy on the pepper, too. Yeah, around, heavy on the pepper. How long do these cook for? Five hours. Take this, put it right in the oven, and that's that. So what we'll do is we'll start off with a French dip. All right, so we're going to make a French dip. Yep. Fresh, handmade onion roll. We get uh, all of our bread fresh in every single day. Is that onion in that bread? It's onion inside the bread, wow. yes. And we hand carve all of our meats. Nothing. Why don't you guys use the uh, slicer? Nothing's done on a slicer. Take a nice scoop of our jus right here. We'll do salt and pepper on it. Then we'll bring it down over here. Saute onions on top. We even slice our cheese in the house. We're gonna bring this in the back and pop it in the oven. Do you like coleslaw? Yes. Barbecue sauce? Yes. All right, we'll make it happen. All right, now we're going to make a down south, which is what, brisket? It's all barbecue. So this is our cut of brisket right here. Salt and pepper. Awesome. So now we're going to bring this down here. Some of our homemade coleslaw. Stack it up on there. So you guys make the coleslaw in-house as well? Everything's made in-house, down to the honey mustard. About to take a bite of the down south. Mm. That's ridiculous. The roast beef is real good. All right, so we got some homemade rye bread right here. Slice this bad boy up. That's some good looking turkey, man. So we uh, carve it off the breast. Jew right on top. Salt and pepper. A little bit of lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. Okay. All right, I'm about to take a bite of this fat turkey sandwich. Outstanding. Damien, what did you get today? Turkey ham sandwich, and it was the best sandwich I've had in years. It's my first time here. Oh, it's your first time here. Okay, and you liked it? Okay, I think I had everything. I had the turkey, the roast beef, and I had the brisket. The only thing I think I didn't get was the ham, but it did look good. I'm here with Shayla, what is it, Shayla Alcatraz? She, Alcatraz, my fault. Shayla Alcatraz, same thing. Just came out of MGM roast beef. Have you ever been here before? No. What'd you think? It was great. What'd you get? The roast beef. What was so good about it? I heard you talking in there that you're picky about your roast beef. Why was, what was different about it here? Why did you like it? It was thick cut. Thick cut. You got anything else to say? No. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, I'm just leaving MGM. Honestly, I was here probably like five or six years ago and I got the roast beef sandwich a long time ago. I didn't really remember, all I remember was it's good, but today I had the roast beef sandwich, I had the brisket sandwich with coleslaw on it, I had the turkey sandwich. You guys absolutely need to come to MGM if you're a sandwich person, because I promise you they're all delicious and I'm 100% sure that you'll like it. We're out, peace. Does your restaurant have great food and you want to be showcased on the DC Metro Food Dude Show? If so, hit us up at dcmetrofooddude.com. Thank you for tuning in to the DC Metro Food Dude Show and make sure to visit us online at www.dcmetrofooddude.com.